it's the return of the vlogging sweater. I haven't been wearing it lately because, you know, um, it, 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 it like, it's summer. <laughs> so it's kind of just been in my closet. But I was feeling nostalgic today, so I took it out of my closet and decided I'd wear it. And the radical feminist made my wife a man. A thousand points, if you know what that comes from. Or what that came from. Um, so, radical feminist leads me into our topic for today. I have to go get the questions. Oh, um, so, first I'm going to start talking about feminism. Um, girls are way better than boys because boys' genitals produce a liquid and girls' genitals produce people. I hate people who are all like, girls are better than boys, or girls can do all that boys can do plus more. I'm just like, no, we're all equal. I was going to say something really racist right there. I was going to go, except for, but I was like, don't do it. Self-control. Self-control. Who are my favorite female YouTubers? Daily Grace, Taylor L, um, all the people from the Moms View, except for Bella Michelle, so Mommy Tard, or Kaylette, or Colette Butler, Carly Styles, Hey Kaylee, Mia. I used to like Lisa Nova, but she kind of stopped making videos, but she still considers herself part of YouTube. But she kind of like was what she was the first female YouTuber, YouTube, and like. She was the, like, person for girls on YouTube. But, yeah, I don't know if she counts. Um, who else? Oh, Gabe and Jess. Um, I can't remember the username. The Time Knight. Oh, I feel really bad. Whatever Sydney's channel is. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I don't know, is there anybody else? Brie Esrig. Definitely Brie Esrig. Oh my god, how did I forget? I freaking love her. And Lee's Bug, but Brie Esrig. Oh, and Shauna from the... Uh, Shane Dawson vlogs. I love her. I, I love her. Female athletes. Haha, <laughs> because I know about athletes. I like how that, that's the question that stumped all of us that made me laugh. Cassie Campbell? I'm Canadian. Um, yeah. Cassie, I've got my mouth. I bet that's pissing all, you, all of you off. But Cassie Campbell is a Canadian hockey player. So the only thing I really watch is hockey, but I watch NHL and they don't have any girls. So, or woman. I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. Or no, I'm not a girl. Not yet a woman. I think that's also Canadian. What is your favorite book written by a female with a female protagonist? Um, I, I just want to show this book because I'll just show you. Okay, so I'm not one to take the cover off of books, but I did with this one for some reason. The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. You've probably seen the movie. Oh my god. I won this book by the Forsaken 707, I think. Yeah, I won it on this like online giveaway or whatever. And I just want an excuse to read about or talk about it. It is so good. I love it. Yeah. Destined to become a classic in the vein of To Kill a Mockingbird. I loved it. If it's being compared to To Kill a Mockingbird, it's good. I have to clean up my room after this. What's your favorite film written by a female with a female protagonist? I'm just gonna go Google movies like that or find out if some of the movies I like are like that. I was hoping Tangled would be, but it's not. Be written by a female. I don't know. I don't know this question. Or I know the question, but I don't know my answer. Oh, Brave is? Yeah, Brave. I saw it last night. Actually, I have a vlog about it. I would put it here, but I smashed my computer. I have a vlog about that too would put it here, but I have a vlog about it. I have a vlog about everything. Favorite female fictional character? Uh, so many. <laughs> Susie from The Lovely Bones. Just gonna talk about that again. Um, Trix or Beatrix from 
or Beatrice, what? I don't remember. She's my favorite, but I don't even remember her name. From Divergent, uh, Hazel Grace from Fault in Our Stars. I don't know. I like calling her Hazel Grace, but when other people do, I'm like, no, that's Gus's name for her. And then I get all sad, and then I go cry. <laughs> These are all from books. Um, yeah, there's three. Oh, I, I did. I did three, but I didn't like put my things together. So, what is the biggest problem facing female creators today? Well, not so much with me, but with like older people, older YouTubers. I feel like there's like one of two things that it can be. It's either they don't listen to a thing you are saying; they're just like, "Show us your tits." Yeah. Or <laughs> they're like, "Oh, this bitch is so ugly." Like, I don't know. Cause guy, I know, guys are like pervs on the internet, like majority of them. Have you seen the comments to my puking video? Puke in my mouth, K bitch. Like, um, so yeah, they don't listen to what you're saying. They, they just, yeah, like, I mean, really? Do you think people go to a Jenna Marbles video to see, hear what she's saying? Or like, what's that shit called? who does like how to say this in Japanese and she is like do you really think they go there to learn Japanese really or I don't know. what's that chick who oh I can't remember any of them there's this chick who sings teenage dream and she's ugly as but she gets so many views and people are just like oh whatever you ugly ass bitch yeah solutions just show them your tits <laughs> just kidding um, I don't know. I don't have a solution to that. I can't remember this question. Do you think YouTube and online video in general are better suited for a woman than TV? I think that's it. I don't know. Um, I do, but, like, I don't know. On the internet, you can post it. There's no auditions or anything. But... It's becoming harder and harder to become a famous YouTuber. Like, I don't want to go off into a rant about how YouTube is... Because I already have a video on that. Vlog on everything. But they don't showcase lower people. Like, lower in the totem pole YouTubers. Like, if you're in the movie industry and you get to act in a movie, people know who you are. You're in the credits. And lots of people see that. But if you're on YouTube... It, YouTube Sorry, my camera ran out of space. YouTube, like... It doesn't have one big, or it doesn't have credits that have, like, a hundred people, like, that millions of people see, like, I don't know. Like, it takes you a while to get be, like, an extra in a movie, but once you are, you have connections. While on YouTube, you're just doing this at your house, and it's pretty hard to get connections. But I probably got the question wrong, so whatever. What are you pledged to do to make the, make YouTube a better environment for all creators? I think I already do pretty good. Like, every time I, like, see a YouTuber that has, like, less than 100 subscribers, I will automatically subscribe, no matter how many Minecraft or whatever videos I don't like are on there. Um, I like every single video I see that has less than 100,000 views. Um, yeah, I don't know. I try to watch lesser known YouTubers and I comment a lot and so I think I'm good on the pledge and I don't know if there's really much I can do more than that. Tell a story featuring women. I don't really understand this question. Is it just any story that has a woman in it? Most of my stories do. Um Yeah, I don't really understand. <coughs> Sorry, I have a cough. <coughs> I just didn't answer that last question, just coughed away. Um, but, <coughs> but uh, Jer Jeremy, I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what you're going to do because you kind of already did the video. But yeah. I have these keyboard keys from my computer. There's a vlog for that. Um, do any of you guys have some creative idea of what I should do with them?